Hello everybody, how's it going? Jason here. It's uh, it's my Monday, it's everybody else's Sunday back in the States, but um, it's my last day off and I'm kind of bored so I thought I'd make a little video and kind of give an update on how things are going here. It's a beautiful day, you can see the sun's just about to go over that hill, which means it's about to get really, really cold, but right now it's beautiful. It's a fun time because you can see all the little kids get off school at the same time and they all ride their bikes home with their cute little helmets and the really little kids they train them to walk like holding hands so it's super cute they're like walking down the street in little pairs holding hands with helmets and little outfits that have all kinds of yellow and green reflectors on them even though it's the middle of the day but it's pretty cute um, it's a cute little system they've got going over here for that on, Sat or on Mondays, I usually clean my house. You can see my house is in immaculate condition. The garbage, however, is in a slightly a skewed thing. This is, this is my garbage system. You can see there's like eight different bags for the eight different kinds of garbage that you have to do. And the trash bags are really expensive. It's like, it's like $10 for a bag of bags, which you wouldn't think, I mean, you think like $10, that's not that bad, but you know, I don't get paid very much money, so for me, it's a lot. So because of that, I have to be very frugal with, with the bags. And they're huge. They're like, if you set one on the ground, it would come up to like my waist. So it's like these big bags. So I have to keep them like this until they fill up. So my beautiful patio has become like a, it looks like a hoarder's patio. It's just filled with garbage. <laughs> that it's just waiting to be taken out and sometimes it takes like weeks like the cans I don't use that many cans that's the cans right there so like I've had the same bag of cans sitting here for a month so <laughs> um, other funny stuff this thing here this is I see these hanging on everyone's everybody's houses and it's some sort of you can, ah, ah, it's like a laundry hanger thing and you, you hang it, it's pretty cool actually, and then it hangs your laundry from it, and you, yeah, see there you go, like that. But the problem for me is that I, there's nowhere for me to hang it. Everyone hangs it on their balcony. I'm trying to see if there's anyone who has a balcony I can show you. Um, let's see, anybody over here? No, nobody's got laundry hanging today. But okay, so my balcony doesn't have, this is the only place I could hang it. See that? You see that beam way up there? So I don't know if I'm supposed to like use these as like a ladder system and climb up to death-defying heights to to hang my laundry or not. But I mean, the thing exists, so it must. Somebody must have been hanging laundry. Ah, rabble at some point here, and so I can't figure out how to do it. So I I hang my laundry here inside over here. I have a little makeshift laundry, laundry hanger. That's what I, that's what I do. Um, what else? Oh, this thing. <laughs> so on, um, on Friday, on the last day of school this last week, um, I had a lesson and the teacher comes and gets me usually like 10 minutes before the lesson. And she's like, Hey, this is the lesson for the day, you know, learn it really quickly and then go and and do it, um, which is fine. It's usually something like colors or shapes or, you know, something, they're kids, so it's something easy. <laughs> but on Friday, it was, she was like running behind, so she just comes and gets me. She's like, okay, it's time, come, come in here. So I go into the room with her and there's like 30 kids sitting down on the floor waiting for the thing. And she's like, here's the lesson on the table, just um, just grab it and, and, and get going. So like, yeah, no problem. I'll just figure it out as I go along. And I walk up to it and I look down and there's these like, four pages on the table of just insanely complicated paper folding. It's a, it was an origami class that I was supposed to teach in English with no Japanese descriptions or explanations whatsoever. And I'm terrible at origami. I'm like the worst origami person you could ever imagine. They, the kids really like it too, and they're really good at it. And so they'll like go ask the other teachers, you know, they'll, they'll come up with a piece of paper and be like, origami, please. And so for me, the only origami that I know how to make is a paper airplane, and even that I'm not very good at. So I, <laughs> they're like, they'll come up with a piece of paper and they'll be like, hey, origami. I'm like, mm, origami? Yes. One paper airplane coming up. And, uh, you know, I'll make it, and it's terrible. Whatever. So I, 
got these dirty kids. This is what I made. I'm gonna put this down real quick. I don't know if you can. Sorry. Can I lean it? Okay. So this is what I made. It was the lesson was a disaster. I made. We were making just a box. Apparently, there's this holiday in Japan on February. I think it's this weekend. I think it's actually today, um, February 26th. And it's apparently, from what I, I found out later on, it has something to do with, there's like a demon monster that comes down from the mountain and you, you, you thwart him away by shaking dried fish at him and then throwing soybeans at him. That's the way you get rid of the monster. You, you throw beans at him and you shake a dried fish which doesn't seem terribly scary to me, but apparently to Japanese demons, it's very, it's very scary. Um, so this is what I made. I did figure it out eventually how to do it, and I, sh and I taught the kids. But it took us like two hours to make these, these little, <laughs> it took two hours. It took two hours for me to make this. It's a box. It's just a box. It's one piece of paper, and it's a box. And like, we started, we got like halfway through the first round, like we were like halfway done. And then I realized that <laughs> like halfway between where we were, I had made a wrong fold. And so like, I would like look at it and fold it and then be like, okay, fold it this way. And they would all do it. And so then we had to go all the way back and start over again. And I had to get new pay, but the whole thing was just a disaster. And I look super dumb because all it is is folding paper. And in Japan, like all the parents and like adults are really good at origami because they've been doing it since they were kids and I then you know I have never done it so I'm really really bad at it and it was terrible so we made these little things and it was so complicated that like afterwards like directly after we did it I tried to do it again like on the next like little recess thing because I knew somebody was gonna want another one um, so I tried making one and I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't even get close I couldn't make it past like the first four folds but what's really funny is that I accidentally made the only other kind of origami type thing I've ever made in my life by accident. It was this thing. You guys probably, a lot of you probably remember this. It's, uh, it's cold now. My fingers are cold. <laughs> you remember this thing? The little, the little thing with the, where you write something on the inside damn these fat fingers and you do like the one two three four and then you fold open the thing yeah I accidentally made one of those by chance which I thought was really odd um, I don't know if it was like my childhood psyche like bubbling up and coming out here's some more little kids walking riding their bikes down the street isn't that cute anywho yeah that's the kind of stuff that I've been doing dealing with failing at origami again like I said the last week you know it's like the simplest things are so complicated for me They're the simplest things here you know like hey fold this paper up and explain how to fold it up and then have the kids fold it up and I'm like ah oh, yeah I'll just fold this paper up and then explain to the kids how to fold this paper up no it did not go smooth it, <laughs> it rarely goes smooth nothing goes smooth um, at the school and so that was a disaster yeah let's see anything else it's so beautiful here today. You take a little gander out here. This is my view from my patio. Um, oh, yeah, I got in trouble. I got in trouble this week at school for... Um, I was trying to do a nice thing. And I got in trouble because I did the exact opposite by accident. So, you know like in American schools, they... They really frown on like making weapons of any kind in, in, in school, in class. Like you can't, you're not supposed to make guns or swords or, you know, anything like that. Um, spears or anything, it's, it's frowned upon. Well, in Japan, it's kind of the exact opposite. It's actually kind of encouraged. And so these kids, they, we have a bunch of newspapers. So they really, they, we, they roll up the newspaper really tight and make these swords. And then they just beat the shit out of each other with them. I swear to God, they, they run around and just whap, whap. Kids get hit in the eye and stuff, and they're, and they're super violent. I don't know if it's like, 
in the blood, you know, it's like part of the, the culture, like to just make weapons and then just attack each other with them. So, well, for whatever reason, it's, it's, it's a thing um, and it happens every day. And so I see this over and over again. I see these kids making these weapons and then fighting each other, which is fine. But some of the kids are significantly smaller and younger than the other kids. So, like, you know, the difference between a four-year-old and a five-year-old is a big difference, you know? That's like the difference between a 13-year-old and a 17-year-old. I mean, it's 17-year-old's not going to have any problem just, you know, beating down a 13-year-old. So, uh, there's a couple of kids that I really like, and they're young kids. They're younger than the other kids, but they still want to play swords and, you know, beat the crap out of each other. So, they just get murdered out there on the, on the, the battleground. So... I had it in my head, I was like, okay, well, you know what I'll do is I'll build them some, some shields, you know, so that they can defend themselves. I was like, that's a great idea. I'm going to be like a, like a hero of the people. So, so like, there's this one kid I really, really like, and he's, he's really young, and he's really small for his age, and he always gets destroyed. So I took a, um, a shoebox, and the top of the shoebox, the part that comes off, and... You know, I made this cool, like, origami front that said, you know, had different kanji and different English words and stuff. And it was sick. It looked really, really cool. And then on the back of it, you know, I taped it down really strong, like, some some things. Like, one loop for his hand to go through and then another one for him to hold. So he could, you know, defend himself against these bigger kids. And then at, like, lunchtime recess, I gave it to him. I was like, here you go, buddy. Here's a present. And I showed him how to use it. I, like, put his arm through it. And I was like, you see, you, when they do this you you block it you know and he's like oh yeah but it's all in english so he doesn't really understand what i'm saying i'm just doing this and going blah 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 so so he takes it and puts it on and i'm watching him and he runs he runs out to the other kids right and this is where i got in trouble because there's a teacher standing right there watching them like just watching them whack each other in the eye with these swords and stuff <laughs> And he runs out with it and just walks up to the biggest kid there, you know, like the, kind of the bully kid, and just walks up to him and the kid's looking at him like, what's that thing? And he just, whoop, hits him right in the cheek with it, <sighs> drops him like a sack of potatoes right there on the ground. And the teacher, the kid starts crying, you know, bawling, and the teacher's like, what the, and she looks at it and it's all beautifully made and ornate and very sturdy, I guess to say the least. It's built to take a beating, you know? And she looks at it, and she sees the English writing, and she looks up over at me, like, really? You built this kid like a battle hand? Like a, a fist-punching device? And so she comes and she explains to me, you know, well, you know, we make the paper swords, you know, but that's, that's fine, because they break down eventually, and it's... She's like, but we don't make weapons. And I'm, I tried to explain, I'm like, it's not a weapon, it's a shield. But she didn't know what shield meant, and I didn't know the word in Japanese. And she's like, yeah, no shields, no fist punch weapons. And so it, the whole thing went terribly awry. And now what's even worse is that because one kid got one, everybody wants one. And they keep coming up, they're like, hey, make me a, make me a fist punching device. <laughs> and I try to explain that it's not that, it's a shield, but nobody understands. And I look like I'm just, you know, creating weapons of mass destruction. So American of me. Um, Anyway, yeah, the whole thing was just a disaster. Here's some more kids. Look at they're all in, they're all in the same little outfits. Isn't that cute? I think that's super, super cute. Anywho, yeah, that was that was a disaster. The kid was crying like a baby. I mean, you know, it's like everybody's got problems. You don't have to be able to cry, baby, about it and cry all the time. Get me in trouble. <laughs> oh yeah, and the crying. The kids cry a lot. You know, they're kids. They're little kids, so they cry about stuff and. At first, I was really sad about it. Like, it's weird. There's like a progression you go through when you spend a lot of time with kids. At first, when they cry, you feel bad. You're like, oh, he's crying. That's, you know, don't, don't, don't yell at him. He's just crying. He's having a hard day. And then, and then it starts to bug you a little bit. You know, that they're crying and they're crying and you're just like, ah, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Just shut up and stop crying. <laughs> But, but again, like you still feel kind of bad, but it bugs you after a while. It's like, you know, they're just turning on the waterworks just to get their way. Like you see it, you, 
the, the sadness goes away because it's not you're not fooling anybody after a while. You get kind of you get kind of hardened to it and toughen up, and then you get really tough, and it goes from sadness to anger to complete and utter disassociation. Like you just, it's almost like I don't even hear it, or I hear it and it's like music. They're like, Wah! and I'm like, wah, 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 wah. it's like no big deal, and and they set each other off. You know, it's like one will start. And then someone will come up and be like, what's wrong? And then another kid will be like, oh, he's getting attention. And they go, and he'll start going off. And there'll be like three or four of them just in unison. They're like, wah, wah, wah. Are we still crying? Wah, wah, wah. Are we in key? Are we, ah, wah. No? Okay, good. Because that's the most effective way to do it. So that's a pain in the ass. But I've become quite indifferent to it, really, to be honest. It's, I'm like the Zen master of crying kids. It just doesn't even... I just walk right by and like, hey, you crying? Yeah, you got a booger in your nose. Might want to take care of that, but whatever. Anyway, other than that, other than getting in trouble and having an epic fail at origami class, things have been kind of the same. Oh, look here, the sun's about to set. It gets so cold. It's like, it's really nice some days um, when the sun's up and then it sets. And you do not want to be out in your like sun clothes when the sun goes down because it drops like 30 degrees and half an hour and I'm in this weird like you can see like this weird valley thing so like I go up to the hills and stuff to shop and then I come back through and then they just get crazy wind gusts and it freezes last night I was out I went out for dinner and then bought some groceries but it was like daytime kind of when I left when I got home by the time I got home it was snowing and I, <laughs> and I was in like a long sleeve just like regular shirt with no gloves no beanie, no sweater or anything, and it's like snowing on me. It sucked. But yeah, so that's that's it for today. Not a whole lot else to report. My washing machine started to thaw out. You can look in there and see. It's still kind of frozen. I don't really know what to do about that, but whatever. Oh, there goes the sun. And the sun sets on another day. Well, that's it. I, like I said, I was just bored. It gets really boring here, so I thought I'd make a little video and talk about stupid crap that has been happening that's really not applicable to anybody else's life, <laughs> other than my own. But, um, yeah, have a nice day. I might not even post this. It might just be for personal use only, for my own personal sanity. Oh, maybe, is that where you hang the thing? I think I just found out where you hang the thing. I think it, the laundry thing hangs from that cord right there. Huh! That's perfect. I think I just figured out how to hang my laundry two and a half months later. You know, it just took me two and a half months to figure out where my laundry hangs on a, you know, eight foot by two foot patio. But, you know, we're getting the hang of it. Anyway, I'll see you guys. And, uh, yeah, I'll post some more stuff. I'm going to go hang out in Kobe next weekend, so I'll make a video there. That should be fun. And, you know, shenanigans will ensue. But, anyway, peace. Have a nice day.